It's the Mystery Hour, and here is your host, Mystery Jeff Post. Oh. How you guys doing? It's Saturday night. Or if it's a rerun, it's whatever. Or if you're watching it online, it's whatever. I'm not mad. Hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. <laughs> I thought you'd clap there. Oh, well. I don't care. Uh, we have Lou Lebrun, octogenarian accordion player. Yeah. We also have the music of the steeples. The steeples. And we have a great title sponsor due to a generous donation from Rosalie Wooten. Our title sponsor is Ozark Greenways. Check out this video we made for him. Hi, I'm Jeff Houghton with Ozark Greenways, along with our new mascot, Ozzy the Bear. With an astonishing 72 miles of trails throughout our fair city, Ozark Greenways truly is a gem for the whole community. In order to ensure that everyone has an enjoyable time on the trails, it's important that we all follow agreed upon rules. Number one, the trails are enjoyed by walkers, joggers, and bikers alike, so be courteous. Number two, exercise on the right side and pass on the left side, just like a road. And number three, Ozzy! Ozzy, no! No, Ozzy! You came with good references! Ozzy! Ozzy, what do you... No, you're a mascot! This is your first strike. Ozark Greenways, a very good time. I'm sorry, that, that, that tagline doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work. Yeah. They deserved better than that. <laughs> It's like it's Greenways and we did it in black and white. <laughs> anyway, let's do things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my uh, I don't have my cards. Oh, here to deliver my cards is is a man pretending uh, he's not on fire. He's pretending he's not. He's not on fire. All right, here we go. Things I've noticed. I've noticed that if you're trying to tell me that you're pale, but you don't have a favorite brand of sunscreen, you're not in the club. <laughs> I've noticed I'm not good at remembering names or faces, yet people keep insisting on wearing different clothes every day. <laughs> I've noticed that it's a shame that you guys will never know how hilarious my passwords are. I've noticed that there's no rest for the wicked, but waterbeds are pretty close. <laughs> I've noticed that sometimes I'll wear earbuds without music playing. Excuse me. Actually, I'm listening to a song called Don't Talk to Me. <laughs> and finally, I've noticed that ranch dressing is usually a plaid shirt and cowboy boots. Things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. 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 All right. Hey, uh, so Dave, everyone loves Dave. We love Dave. My sidekick, Dave, is his name is Dave. And uh, Dave is getting married. Yeah. We're proud of him. So I have an earpiece in. That's what I'm fiddling with. Because Dave is out on the street. Um, and there he is. So Dave has a megaphone. He has a megaphone there. And so it's going to look to people like he's talking. 
but actually I'm talking because there's a speaker out there. So they're going to hear, and it's going to appear as though Dave is talking, but it's me. So this is called Dave shaming. <laughs> All right, Dave, you ready? Yeah, absolutely. All right, are there people out there? Yeah, there's a couple people over here. There's some people over at. Uh... Okay. I don't, I don't ever go there, so I don't know. And they don't pay us to say their names, so I'm not doing it. Okay, put it up to your mouth. Hey, who wants to see the single ladies dance? Hey, you want to see the single ladies dance? Hey. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Keep it up my, by my mouth. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. No, you, in front of me. Hey, you in the orange. Hey, you in the orange. Hey, you in the orange. It's too late. They were afraid of the single lady dance. Hey, I have a secret. I have a secret room in my house where I keep my regrets. Spoiler alert, I sleep on an air mattress. You, hey, know, you know I did do that for a while. You yeah. know that that was my actual life. You aren't supposed to talk to me. <laughs> hey, I'm coming over to you. Hey, patio, here I come. Hey, patio. Excuse me, sir. 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 Excuse me, sir. Sir. Hey, hi. <laughs> what a cute child you have there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I swallowed a burp and I don't know where it went. Hey. Dave, come here. Dave, the whole thing is you hold it in front of your mouth and they think you're talking. So you stop taking it away and talking to other people. You try coming out here and having that little kid ask to play with the megaphone, and you don't do it. I, it's not possible. Dave. It's still, what do you? Put it back up to your mouth. OK, let's talk to these people. Hey. Hey, hey, come here, 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 hey, come here. Your closet smells different than it used to. Stop talking. Hey, I bet, hey, I bet I can touch you softer than you can touch me. Mouth, mouth, Dave, mouth. <laughs> All right, let's play leapfrog. You guys, let's play leapfrog. You guys jump over me. Jump over me. It's me talking. I'm having this on my mouth. <laughs> now I jump over you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, this went not great. See ya. Put it on your mouth. <laughs> All right, we're going to commercial. <laughs> That comedy bit brought to you by Bush, Ramlow, and Shore CPAs, accountants, funny. Set design and construction brought to you by Elamoose, Digital Quill Studio, and Skinny Theatrical Design and Fabrication. Guest booking provided by Gig Salad. Additional sponsorship provided by Big Whiskey's official American restaurant and bar of the Mystery Hour. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Man, we have a great guest tonight. Papa! We also have a great guest sponsor. Sponsor, History Museum on the Square. Um, they, celebrate, they celebrate the past by taking things from the past and putting them out there so you can look at them. <laughs> All 
Our guest tonight uh, is an incredible woman. Uh, you guys are going to love her so much. She's um, a professional accordion player, and she is in her 80s, and she's wonderful. Please put your hands together for Lou LeBron. Lou! <laughs> Hi, Lou. Hi there. How are you? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not too bad for an old lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have had a great time getting to know you, and I want everyone else to get to know you as well. Sure. Um, I, do you say your age? You yes. said it to me, yeah. I will be 88 in September. 88. <laughs> And how long have you been playing accordion? Uh, elapsed time, 80 years. 80 years? <laughs> and, uh, and how did you get into accordion? Well, it's a long story, but we'll make it short. Yeah. I lived in Los Angeles, and we had supermarket openings. And you'd see the searchlights for miles away and so if your family was poor like mine you'd run over to find the supermarket that was opening so you'd get free groceries mm -hmm. and they used to have flatbeds in the old days they used to have flatbeds and they had country bands and i saw this guy up on the flatbed and he had this big accordion i i'd never seen one my whole life before yeah and i looked at that and i thought how does he hold that up? Yeah. Well, my, par my parents did not graduate from grammar school even, so I didn't figure they were the ones to ask. So, <laughs> so the next day I just decided I would tell my mother that I wanted to play the accordion. Yeah. And my uncle who bought me all my dolls bought my first accordion. Yeah. yeah. So. And you, you even entertained the troops in USO? Yes, uh, USO around the Los Angeles area and sometimes flying to adjacent states on weekends. Yeah. Um, that was in 1942. And I, wow. was, I was 12 years old and played in many of, of the military hospitals. Some of them, I sure, I'm sure, had patients from Pearl Harbor, and um, I just, I just loved. It. Of course, I hadn't discovered boys yet. Yeah. You know. And then after, after I discovered boys, and it was downhill all the way. <laughs> <laughs> but you, and professionally, what was your job for many years? Computer programmer. Computer programmer. Remember, remember the great big rooms? The great big About rooms, yeah. a room yeah. like this with a mainframe in it. Yeah. That's what I was programming. That's so interesting. Were there many other women doing this at the time with you? Uh, no, they didn't think of this. A woman was good at math, mm -hmm. uh, that she could be a good programmer. Yeah. So yeah. when they, I, my husband shortened my name to Lou from Louise, so that when I'd send a resume in, I could get in the door for an interview. That's so Because they thought I was just another guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't want to get through this without hearing you play accordion. So let's go, let's go get the accordion for you. OK. OK? I think somebody's heard this. Here it comes. That was pretty good. You did it without doing it upside down, yeah. too. <laughs> did my research. We're going to pause. This will be edited. This, this has a, a back strap on it, and it is so wide that every time I put it on, I'm thinking I'm moving furniture. You got that? You got the weight of it? I clicked. OK. This was one of the songs that uh, that I played in the military hospitals. We used to 
to uh, go through all the wards and uh, had various entertainers. And they didn't, everybody didn't have private rooms. It was always in these huge wards. And about that time, Boogie Woogie, Boogie Woogie, can't say anymore. Boogie Woogie became very popular. And so one of the songs that the servicemen really liked was one called Tommy Dorsey's Boogie Woogie. So I can play that now. Some of you. <laughs> Guest travel and accommodations provided by Hotel Vandeboer. Systematic Savings Bank, official bank of the mystery hour. I imagine people are looking at you now and saying, Oh yeah, that guy! Yes. I get that because all the time. Because they know you from so many different things. <laughs> well, I used to be the milk guy yeah. because of the milk commercial. And I, and I personally said to myself, I need to work in as many things as I possibly can so I don't be the milk guy, right. but just be that guy. Like, I'd yes. rather be that guy than the milk guy. Because yes. at, least they, at least they say, like, hey, man, how do I know you, dude? Right. But here's the best story about that. I, this guy came up to me, he goes, how do I know you? And I said, uh, I don't know. Because I used to go like, I don't know, maybe we went to school together, you go to UCLA, and he goes, no. Nah. I said, how do I know you? And I said, well, I'm an actor. And he goes, no. <laughs> and I go, well, do you go, well, he goes, I don't watch, go to movies or watch TV. How do I know you? And I said, well, I, don't, I do this. I, do, I said, I went to UCLA. And he goes, I went to UCLA. And I said, OK. And he goes, I was a sociology major. No. He said, um, I was, let's see, I, uh, I don't know. And he ran through all the, I was in the theater department. We ran through all these different things. And then he goes, ah. I said, well, you know, I used to be a cashier at the food co-op in the uh, school hall. And he goes, that's it, dude, you sold me burgers. <laughs> and I was like, really? That's it? That's and I'm the like, thing? So you want an autograph? <laughs> Papo's Pizzeria and Pub, official pizza joint of the Mystery Hour. Tonight's musical guest brought to you by Bear Village. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. We have a tremendous musical guest, even though Lou is already a great musical guest. We have another musical guest here tonight. Please put your hands together for the Steeples. Steeples. How do I end up here? Maybe 
am lonely I'm hoping you're just waiting for a text to appear Says something like I wish you were here You'd say okay I'm on my way but my brain Says I guess I'm distraught It's a bar wondering if I should call you Maybe then we could talk through this Find that missing spark and forget why we left your heart It's the one thing that I regret breaking in my disorder thinking again I guess I'm distraught in some bar Oh, we, oh, we, oh I guess I'm distraught in some bar Oh, we, oh, we, oh Broke your heart in two yeah, we weren't ready for how heavy this love could be But baby, oh, guess the one shot of whiskey Might have just been one too many So low at a table for two Now I'm calling you, yeah, I'm just drunk And somebody wondering if I should call you Maybe then we could talk through this Find that missing spark and forget why we left your heart It's the one thing that I regret breaking in my disorder thinking again I guess I'm just drunk in some bar, oh we, oh we, oh I guess I'm just drunk in some bar, oh we, oh we, oh It's getting late, we haven't spoken for days Waiting for a reply, just wasting time, I should be on my way down on my phone You left ten minutes ago I could use some company For you a drink Yeah, I'm just drunk in some bar Wondering if I should call You maybe then we could talk Through this Find that missing spark And forget why we left your heart It's the one thing that I Regret breaking in my Just overthinking again I guess I'm just drunk in some bar